Hi everybody, John Page here, and uh, feel this beautiful day. 27,000 feet, just over the Irish Sea, so I just thought I'd take the opportunity. I'm uh, flying a Meridian M500 today, Piper M500, uh, back from Ireland, over to London. So I thought I'd take, you, take the opportunity to show you a, a few little things on the aircraft. And um, as I'm in the cruise up here, and it's very, very quiet at the moment. So here you can see on the PFD, got a flight level 270 and 171 knots of uh, indicated airspeed, uh, which is currently giving me a true airspeed there of 262. And a little bit of a push, 26 knots of tailwind, which is nice, which is giving me a... Uh, 270 or 287 knots of uh, ground speed and we have a nice application on the iPad for the uh, Meridian or the M500 which is called Torque and the Torque basically what you can do is you can roll the roller here and set whatever altitude you're at and whatever outside air temperature you're at so here we can see 27,000 with an outside air temperature of minus 37 so just rolling the roller in there and it'll tell me here that I should set a torque setting of 1165 and I should get about 250 pounds per hour which is about 37 gallons per hour and doing about 258 knots so here I'm just slightly below that I'm at 1160 and the ITT is giving me 690 uh, we got a maximum of uh, or it goes yellow lines at 770 and um, so setting that torque of 1160 we can see that in fact my fuel flow pounds per hour is 250 just as it says so about 37 gallons an hour and we're getting about 262 knots of true airspeed which is very very slightly more than what it says 258 so it's great so um so we can set once we get into the cruise the torque setting uh, appropriate to the altitude and to the temperature that we have also at the top here we can see that we've got our brow switches so we've got all of the main uh, engine switches here, fuel pumps, ignition, starter generator and all that sort of stuff on this side with a few tests for reverse lockout and stall warner and the governor overspeed test as well. Uh, we've got the lights there so we can interior lights for dimming those and on the right hand side we can see all of our lights on the bottom and all of our heaters on the top so stall heat, peter heat and defog which is the windshield defog is on at the moment and down the bottom we've got the pulse lights flashing on the end of the wings give us a bit of better visibility to other people the nav lights are on and the strobe lights are on as well this aircraft has all led lights so therefore i'm not too worried about them burning out bulbs or anything so that's great so down here got a right hand pfd and the mfd so we've got two 10 inch and one 15 inch screen and then we've got the gfc 700 autopilot in here which gives us everything from the left hand side giving us all lateral navigation and then whether we've got the autopilot or your damper on and then vertical navigation with the altitude select and the flight level change as well making sure that we can make um, climb with an indicated or flight level change indicated airspeed uh, we can go up and down with that because generally on the meridians and the m500s um, if we're not using vertical navigation to descend using a flight path angle then we do tend to descend using an indicated airspeed and the reason for that is because you can see here at 171 knots of true airspeed we're not too far from the barber pole which is our maximum speed for the aircraft so therefore what we tend to do when we descend is we tend to set a 170 knot or 180 knots so somewhere between 170 and 180 knots of indicated airspeed and then we'll actually back off the, the torque with the throttle back to about four to six hundred foot pounds of torque on the throttle and then what that will do is that will give us somewhere between 1500 to a thousand foot a minute rate of descent a few other things here we've got the envir environmental control system we've got the bleed air here as well for controlling our pressurization and our audio panel our heater over here with the air conditioning the flap lever and then the keypad as well to help us enter our flight plans but this aircraft does have flight stream as well so therefore we can just enter straight in uh, from a full flight or Garmin pilot straight into the application from the application into the screens as well so yeah so beautiful aircraft really really nice to fly very simple to fly as well and um, 
when we're up here at 27,000 feet with a nice uh, tailwind heading over towards Ireland, uh, from Ireland over towards England then in fact over towards we're just over the Welsh coast at the moment and coming in having Cardiff just up here on the left hand side can't see it very very clearly but there you go so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a, a, a quick overview of the Meridian of the M500 and uh, what it's capable of doing so a very nice aircraft to fly so hope to speak to you next time and uh, keep safe and keep learning